this is Irma Marshall from Duval County Master Gardeners and we're going to continue to learn about adaptations and colorations of butterflies. When they're in their caterpillar stage, they're mostly green, yellow, and white. And that helps them to blend in with the leaves of the plants that they're eating and it avoids them being eaten by predators. They blend in to brightly colored plants as well. There are some butterflies that are orange and yellow in color because, and they sit on orange and yellow flowers to eat and they are completely hidden. Some butterflies look like leaves and they blend in perfectly with whatever is either on the ground or on the, on the bush. Just like a chrysalis looks just like a leaf. You don't know where it is, you don't know it's there. When also, this is fascinating to me, when they are come out of the egg into the caterpillar stage, they look, some of them look like bird droppings because the birds are looking to eat the caterpillars and they see droppings and they think, well, okay, I can't eat that. All right, so the monarchs eat milkweed. Milkweed is toxic to birds, and therefore birds know that when they see a yellow and green and white caterpillar, they can't eat it because they will get sick. The same thing is true when they're, when they're adult. Birds can't eat them, but guess what? There are many other things that are predators of the butterfly. Lizards is one. There are, there are wasps that love to feast on both the eggs and the small caterpillars. Butterflies are, they're good at disguising themselves, but very few of them survive. Only 5% of the, of the eggs laid ever become a mature butterfly. Most butterflies lay their eggs on particular host plants, but there are butterflies, like the painted lady, for instance, that can eat, um, I don't want to say chemical, but it's artificial diet made with chemicals that they, that appears to be their food, it tastes like their food, and that's why painted lady butterflies are used a lot in schools and at home for you to grow your own butterfly. Red spotted purple butterflies eat nectar, they sip juice, they eat sap, and they also eat animal waste. Most of the butterflies have a very short lifespan. Um, two to three weeks is, is the most most butterflies live. The zebra longwing butterfly, which is the butterfly of Florida, state of Florida, they live longer because they use the enzymes that are in the protein of the food they eat to be, get stronger and they can live for several months. Now, because the monarch migrates, they live as long as nine months so they can get to Mexico. It's amazing. The pipevine swallowtail butterflies are more cold tolerant and spend the winter inactive, hiding in tree bark and wood piles until spring. And some of their chrysalis just hang for months until it gets warm again and then they emerge. So as you can see, butterflies are fascinating Thank you very much for joining me today to speak about adaptation and colorations of butterflies. Thank you.